Welcome to my channel once again. This video is on one of the most elegant trees called ironwood tree and also commonly known as Ceylon ironwood, Indian rose chestnut, cobra saffron tree and post egg tree. The Latin name is Mesuaferia L belonging to family Calophilaceae. The generic name Mesua is after John Mesua, a Persian physician and medical author, and the specific epithet Feria means iron. It is known by different names in vernacular languages in India such as Nagkeshar, Nageshwar, Nahar, Nagasampige, Nagasampakam, Nagasampa, etc. It is national tree of Sri Lanka. In India, it is state tree of Mizoram and state flower of Tripura. It is called ironwood tree because its wood is very hard, heavy and strong. Its wood density is about 1000 kg per cubic meter and hence heavier than teak and rosewood but less than ebony. So it is one of the strongest and heaviest wood in the world. The tree looks majestic with a conical dense crown and straight trunk. Its beauty is enhanced during January February due to emergence of new astonishingly bright red young leaves which turn pink and become dark green finally. Its flowers are also fragrant and aesthetically more appealing with white petals and a center of golden yellow stamens giving an appearance like post eggs. Flowering starts in February and continues up to September, but we can see intense flowering during February to April. It is self-pollinated and also cross-pollinated by bees, trips, and also by air. Its fruits are ovoid, pointed, woody, containing one to four number of seeds. Fruits are ripened during May, June. In ripened stage, fruits are wrinkled and the seeds resemble like chestnut in size, shape and color. It is an evergreen tree found in moist evergreen and semi-evergreen forest, especially in river valleys. It can grow up to 30 meter tall and diameter up to 2 meter with canopy spread 6 meter to 12 meter. The species is native to tropical part of Sri Lanka, India, southern Nepal, Burma, Thailand, Indochina, the Philippines, Malaysia, and Sumatra. In India, it is found in eastern Himalayas, western Ghats up to 1500 meter elevation, also found in certain pockets in eastern Ghats. It is sacred tree in India, found in temple premises and in Devarakadus. All ironwood trees are seen around the ancient Buddhist monasteries in Sri Lanka. Buddhists believe that next Buddha will attain enlightenment under this tree. Now let us discuss about its uses. The tree is widely planted in gardens, along the roadsides, in institution compounds and in other public places due to its graceful look. It is also used in thematic landscaping like naturalistic garden. It is not only set provider but also it acts as thermal radiation filter causing cooling effect in the surrounding. The hardwood is very heavy and strong, resistant to termite and insects, and hence it is very durable. Its wood is used for heavy construction, railway slippers, boat building, pillars, raptors, post, etc. The shelled kernels of Mesua feria fruits contain about 75% oil. So, seeds of Mesua feria will be potential source for quality biodiesel production in near future. Earlier, people in villages used to burn the seeds of Mesua feria for lightening at night. Its flowers are used as ingredient in manufacturing perfume, incense sticks, cosmetic products and soaps. Essential oil extracted from flowers is suitable for preparing body cream and hair oil. Flowers are also used for dyeing purpose. Regarding its medicinal uses, 
its all parts such as leaves, flower buds, flowers, bark and root are used in herbal medicines in India and Malaysia. It is used as ingredients for Ayurvedic and Unani medicines. It has many potential therapeutic activities and hence used in rheumatism, asthma, fever, inflammation, dyspepsia, renal disorder, dysentery, bleeding of piles, worm control, anti-cancer, skin disease and many others. It contains many bioactive chemicals such as phenylcoumarins, xanthones, triterpenoids, tannin and saponin. As per available information, nutcasher wheat, butter and sugar is taken to cure bleeding piles. Its powdered flower buds mixed with honey is given to treat blood dysentery, piles and leucoria. Bark is used as tonic after childbirth and also used in case of anemia. Flower decoction is also given to women after childbirth. Poultice of leaves is applied on head chest to treat cold and cough. Fresh flowers are also used to improve digestion and for cough remedy. Flowers are also used to treat asthma and impotency. Seed oil is used to reduce inflammation, to cure rheumatism, burning sensation, itching, scabies and leprosy. Its root is considered to be best antidote for snake bite. Paste made of nagakeshore with sandalwood is used to remove dark marks on face and for glowing skin. Nagakeshor is also used in cardiac debility and in menstrual bleeding. Nowadays, a number of herbal formulations containing nagakeshor as one of the components are available in the market. For example, nagakeshor powder, pile of capsule, iladi chunna, mahakaleshwar rasa, etc. Some unani formulations are also available. These herbal medicines should be taken under the guidance of Ayurvedic doctors, especially in case of pregnancy, breastfeeding and diabetes. Lastly, let me talk about its propagation and cultivation. The species requires moist to wet tropical climate with high rainfall and humid atmosphere. It prefers mean annual rainfall 3000 to 4000 mm but can grow in areas with 2000 to 5100 mm rainfall. Best day temperature range 30 degree to 35 degree Celsius. Its young plants are shade tolerant but gradually prefers open sunlight. It is susceptible to frost and drought. The species is slow growing and hence presently not much popular for cultivation among farmers. The species requires fertile, deep, well-drained soil. It is propagated through seeds. So far, vegetative methods of its propagation is not much successful and promising. Ripened fruits, preferably from 15 to 20 years old trees, are collected during May-June and then sun-dried for splitting the seeds. The single fruit contains one to four number of seeds. Heavier seeds germinate early. As per report, germination percentage is recorded highest in one seeded fruit followed by two seeded, three seeded and four seeded fruits. Since seeds are oily, seed viability period is very short and hence should be sown immediately after collection. Before sowing, seeds should be soaked in warm water for 24 hours. The seeds are mixed with S and are sown on raised bed in the month of May June. Bottom layer of the mother bed, say about 8 to 10 cm, is filled up with mixture of soil, sand and farmyard manure in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to 1. And the upper layer is covered with 2 cm thick sand. Seeds are sown in line at 5 cm apart. Thereafter, the bed is covered with straw mulch and regular watering two times a day is done. 
Partial shade is also needed in hot climate. Seeds also can be sown directly in poly bags. Seeds germinate in 15 to 30 days period. Germination rate is about 40 to 50 percent. Sometimes even 75 to 90 percent germination is achieved as per report. Small seedlings of 4 to 5 centimeter height are pricked out carefully and translated in 8 inch by 12 inch size poly bags containing mixture of soil, sand and permeant manure in 1 to 1 to 1 ratio. It is better to keep the poly bags on a polythin sheet to prevent root penetration into the soil. One year old seedlings attaining a height of about 50 to 60 centimeter can be planted in 60 centimeter cubic pits at 5 meter apart. For avenue plantation, two years old taller seedlings raised in bigger size bags are preferred. For ornamental purpose, it can be also planted in a bigger container for household gardening. As intercrops, pineapple, ginger, turmeric, etc. can be grown. Seed origin trees take about 10 to 12 years for flowering and fruiting. Flower buds are picked up early and dried first in shed. Thereafter, the dried stamens are packed in moisture-proof bags and stored in dark and ventilated room. Presently, National Medicinal Plants Board of India is giving 50% subsidy of cultivation costs to the farmers for planting mesuaferia trees. Since the species has got multiple uses, let us grow and conserve it. Thanks for patient hearing.